I was recently asked a question on my blog about participating in an up and coming anthology. If you've had that question before about participating in a combination book where a bunch of authors come together and share different experiences or essays or poems and they compile it into one book, that's called an anthology. And there are some pros with participating in an anthology and then there are some cons. So before you make that decision, I wanna give you a couple questions to ask so that you can make an informed decision moving forward. So the first question to reflect on and to ask is what am I paying for this and why am I paying for this? Now, with some participation or contributing authors, they won't have you pay anything, but then they'll keep the royalties. Sometimes they'll have you pay something up front and then you'll get a portion of the royalties and sometimes you still pay a small fee up front and you don't get the royalties. The truth is there's a lot of reasons behind this. There are very real publishing costs involved with the process. Just like if you were to publish your own book, there is the distribution cost, there's the editing cost, the graphic design cost. And so you should expect some cost upfront, but understand that you don't want to outdo yourself by publishing to an anthology because the truth is the publishing cost should be a little less than if you were to publish on your own. After all, it's a combination of authors, and if they're all contributing, that should take some of the financial burden off of each individual author. A question to ask yourself is, why do I want to be involved in this? A lot of times, I will see people that want to be involved in anthologies because it's the quickest route into becoming an author. And while that can be somewhat true because you can pull out an old essay or you can scrap together three quick pages super quick to be featured in a chapter, the reality is if you can write half a chapter or an entire chapter, you can write an entire book. Now with the self-publishing being all the rave, you don't have to have an 100, 200, or 300 page book. You could simply write a 20 page ebook and put it on Amazon and sell it and still be considered a published author. And so if you're doing this simply to say that you're a published author, you may wanna think twice. When you're thinking about the value of this opportunity, think about how it aligns with you as a person. Do you relate to the other authors? Do you align with the concept or the topic of the book? Is it something that you feel motivated to sell or to talk about or to put your name with? Remember, when you sign your name to any published work, this is your representation for years and years to come. So you wanna make sure it's something that you are truly aligned with. Also, you guys know I'm really big about boundaries. For every yes you say to someone else, that's a no you're saying to yourself. So think about the level of commitment that's going to be required of this opportunity and how that could possibly impact anything else that you may be working on outside of this anthology. Now, you want to look at the person who is offering you this opportunity in their community as well as their experience. Typically, writing a book in general is a lot of work. But writing an anthology is even more work because not only are you project managing, you're also trying to compile and make it all flow together. The process of writing an anthology can be overwhelming. And if the person doesn't already have writing or editing or publishing experience, it can be even more challenging. You also want to look at this person's following in their community because the reality is every single person involved in the anthology is going to be given the responsibility to market the book. And if one person has five people and you have 10,000 people following you, it doesn't really seem like a fair share because they're getting an opportunity to market to your people. And so you wanna be really intentional to align with people that are close contact with you or have close values to you or have a sim similar population and a similar number of population as you. That's the best way to be fair because you wanna make sure that you're getting as much value if not more, out of this anthology as every contributing author. Now, you want to consider the marketing plan. What is the objective when this book is published? What are you obligated to do? And what is everyone else going to do? A lot of times you'll hear the publisher say, well, we have 20 people and they each have 10,000 followers. So that means we have an opportunity to reach over 200,000 people. And honestly, it could turn out that way, but sometimes what I see is that people that sign up for these opportunities aren't really aligned with the message. And so therefore they don't market the book in the same way as other authors. And so the reach isn't as great as it originally is promised. And so you wanna be really intentional about are all the authors being held to the same expectation? And what is our expectation when it comes 
to marketing. What is the marketing goal objectively? So as you can see, participating in anthology has a lot of different ins and outs and you want to take time to make an informed decision. Every experience with an anthology is different, but the best thing you can do is get as much information on the front end so that you can make the right decision for the long run. You want to think of how this is going to impact you as a person, as a brand, and as an author moving forward and into that route. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I have published nine soon to be 10 books and have participated in two anthologies. So here you have Black Girls Here and Courageous Women. Courageous Women was just a page and Black Girls Here was a few pages, almost a chapter. But I had an opportunity to collaborate and connect with powerful people that I believe have visions that are aligned with me. And so these were great opportunities and I had to weigh the pros and the cons. So please understand that I'm not at all telling you not to participate in an anthology. In fact, I'm telling you to make an informed decision. Use the information that I shared to make the best decision for you. Because remember that if you make a decision with confidence, the success you have will be far greater than if you make a decision in haste. So I look forward to getting any feedback or questions you have about the anthology process. Put them below and I will talk with you guys later.